The United States operates a lot of research vessels and a few icebreakers, but ships that are both icebreakers and research vessels, that's rare. Healy is America's most capable icebreaking science platform. In addition to science, Healy is fully capable of taking on traditional Coast Guard missions like search and rescue or stopping illegal fishing. Alaska, the state that makes the United States an Arctic nation, is American soil. And so it's part of the Department of Homeland Security's mandate to make sure that they are protecting the people of Alaska and understanding the changes that are occurring, monitoring them, and understand a role for policy. Coast Guard has really taken the initiative in asserting surface presence in the Arctic and building partnerships and really sustaining these partnerships over time, as well as building response capability related to search and rescue, oil spill response, and being a very important partner for building regional cooperation. Healy actually does a lot of work trying to understand the decline of sea ice. One of the things you read about in the papers is how rapidly the sea ice is going away. It's going away much more rapidly than our numerical models predict. And the kind of work that gets pursued from Healy is the sort of thing that would help us improve those models. Most people don't know that the Coast Guard is actually required by federal law to support oceanographic research. The platform that Healy provides for scientific research is incredibly important and valuable to the nation. I remember last year, the scientists had detected harmful algae blooms at a higher latitude than had previously been recorded, and they were able to alert the subsistence community to that presence because that can lead to paralytic shellfish poisoning. You shouldn't hunt here. The platform that Healy provides is just absolutely crucial. Healy is one of the few science platforms that provides us access to the high Arctic. There are other icebreakers that, that are very capable, but don't have the laboratory facilities that Healy has. You know, an icebreaker can really take large numbers of scientists north and has equipment and instrumentation to support them. It's really a unique resource within the U.S. system. We have A-frames to lower instruments over the side, oceanographic winches, sensors of every kind, a big aft working deck, multiple laboratories, and room for 50 scientists. We study polar water temperatures, ice thickness, microorganisms in the seafloor, atmospheric chemistry. We map parts of the seafloor that have never been studied before. We have worked with the National Science Foundation, with NOAA, NASA, the Office of Naval Research, Woods Hole, Scripps, and we collaborate internationally with projects from around the world. Standing on the bridge with crew and scientists and scanning the horizon with binoculars looking for birds and whales that was just so incredible. It was, the whole experience is really unlike anything I've experienced before. Supporting science in the Arctic is very logistically challenging, but also very rewarding when we pull together and we get the work done. It's one thing to read about the Arctic and the challenges of operating in the high north, but it's quite another to live and breathe it for weeks on end and experience that day-to-day -day operational perspective. I've heard it said that the fate of the Arctic and especially the fate of the Greenland ice sheet is the fate of Miami. And I think that's a very good way to drive home the idea that what is happening in the Arctic is not isolated to the Arctic and that it does have very serious global implications.